What's going on everyone? Today we're checking out Steam Engine Simulator. Now this was made by Ange the Great and I guess they've got a YouTube channel where they do C++ game development, which is really awesome and this looks fantastic. I can't wait to check it out. Steam Engine Simulator is a real-time physically based simulation and uses fluid dynamics and rigid body model to simulate both the engine's sound and movement. All sound in this game is procedurally generated, which blows my mind, so you might hear some unusual artifacts occasionally. It does not use pre-recorded sound effects. Definitely go check out Ange the Great after this because this, this already looks fantastic. I do have a basic understanding of how a steam engine works, but I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing in this game, so let's, uh, let's give it a try here. I think, well, I believe this is the water right here. Uh, I don't know what what this does, unfortunately. It, it, oh, okay, so that's just a valve. Perfect. So we can either stop it or let it go into this compartment here. So I guess I can try letting letting some water in. Perfect. Oh God, what does that do? Oh, so oh, so that drains it back. Right, that makes sense. Oh God, stop, stop. Too much water. Too much water. And now I think I have to heat it up. Can I click on this to heat things up a little bit? Nice. I think that's starting to heat up. We have to watch the temperature gauge here. Is that going up? That is going up slowly. You can see that it's slowly going up. I love that you can fully zoom in into everything. That is awesome. I wonder if I need less water. Let's give that a try. Let's just drain some here. Just drain just a little bit because I don't think I need a whole lot of water. I, I don't know anything about steam engines, okay? I just know the basic concept behind it, but aside from that, I am I am very new here. What is this? Oh, nice. That's awesome. <laughs> so we're gonna build some pressure up, and then I suppose uh, we can release it and see if we can start this uh, this steam engine. It's not boiling yet, so we're not really getting any steam. Um, I it looks like I have an electric motor here, which can cycle the engine to get it going. Let's see. Okay. Oh, that is so awesome. I love that. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be uh, draining the battery here, you know? <laughs> now here you basically have like a piston valve, which is on a lever. Now I know I'm probably not using the right terminology. I just, you know, I'm explaining it how I can understand this, uh, which is connected to the crank. And as the piston rotates, this also moves in and out accordingly. Now what I initially didn't understand is why this, uh, you know, I guess this piston right here, this valve isn't on the side of the cylinder because I thought that the steam has to get in from both sides. But I guess because this flywheel has, uh, you know, so much momentum, you don't actually need the steam to go in from both ways. You basically, well here, let's cycle it here. So right now the steam is, uh, Oh, I got the brake on. <laughs> so right now in this position, the steam is going to be going into here and pushing the piston downwards. And then when the uh, when the piston comes back up, that's actually closed. And then it opens again and the steam pushes the piston down. But really it's the weight of the whole flywheel that's helping carry the piston all the way back up. So that makes sense. Now I actually think I wasn't heating this up properly, right? So I have to raise this fully. There we go, we're at 100. Uh, we're definitely making steam now, so I suppose I can lower the fire. Perfect. Nice. Uh, we got some pressure here, although we're not building up much pressure. Doo -doo. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, let's build up more pressure. And I'm actually going to cycle this back right now. Like so. Perfect. Stop. Nice. Okay, excellent. And now it's ready to go. Well, almost ready to go, right? I think I can actually release this valve. Uh, open this valve right here, and this should start moving, so let's- let's do that. What? Oh, okay, we're purging, we're purging, okay. Go. Oh my goodness. No. Too much. Too much. <laughs> Way too much speed, man. Okay, apply some load. Apply some load. Perfect. Let's try and slow this thing down a bit. Interesting. This is crazy, dude. This is so cool. Water level seems good. I mean, I don't think... It's definitely going down. Okay. Are we running out of pressure? Okay, we ran out of pressure, I think. So, to keep the pressure up, I guess I have to keep the fire going. Man, this is so cool. I love that. Oh, okay, and this is uh, like a blow-through, right? So, when it goes back up, it releases the, the, you know, the steam that was in there. That's so neat, man. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, why are we slowing down? And it's going in the opposite direction now. Oh no, we reversed the rotation. <gasps> Not enough momentum, look at that. 
Okay, okay, well, let's close it back up here. Yeah, we ran out of pressure. I want to try and get this thing to run consistently, you know? Love all the sounds. So good. Okay, we're building up pressure again. Perfect. Maybe we should add some water into here. All right, filling her up a bit. Dropping the water temperature as a result because we're basically putting in cold water in. It's heating up. The pressure is rising. I really want to stabilize that needle at like 150 degrees, you know? Let's just go a little crazy here for a little bit. That looks pretty stable to me. Nope, still climbing ever so slightly, okay? Well, I feel like we can get this guy started, right? So let's get it started. Perfect. Release. Oh, it wants to go in the other direction. Okay, sure. Okay. Perfect. Oh, this is so cool, man. I love this. This is so fun to just play with. Nice. It's running way better now. 100 RPM. Very good. That's awesome. I love that. Our temperature is slightly going up, so I'm going to lower it ever so slightly. Dude, this is so cool. Alright, what if I give it a bit more pressure? Nice. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, okay, it's, it's, it, it's at 200 RPM now. Calm down, calm down. We need a bit of a load. Maybe? No, you know what? Maybe I, maybe I shouldn't do that. Seems okay. Our temperature is pretty consistent. Although it is falling now. No, it's pretty consistent. Ah, it's definitely falling a bit. Definitely the pressure has fallen a bit. Let's just crank up the fire. Add some more water into the boiler. What? There's no water? I'm not sure what's happening with the water, but it's not, uh, it's not filling it up with more water. Alright, this is cool, man. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Let's add a bit of load. Nope, nope. Too much load. Too much load, okay. What if we go full open? <laughs> oh no. We're just wasting pressure, man. We're wasting pressure. Those are back down. I am learning a lot here. I am, uh... I am very mesmerized by this. 450 RPM. Wow, this is awesome. So it's interesting because... My pressure is not dropping nearly as high because I closed the valve here. But we're still at like 400 RPM, which is crazy. Now, I wonder if I can uh, amp up our fire here a bit. I, I'm really curious as to why I can't put more water in. Maybe the engine has to be stopped. So I can fully close that. Okay, fully close that up. That's awesome. I love the, I love the steam whistle. And let's, let's actually try stopping this thing. Nice. Nice. Okay. Fire is off. The water temperature drops very quickly when you do that. But can I... The question is, why can't I put more water in? Am I just out of water? Oh, there it is. Now it's going. Huh, and we have a vacuum now in the boiler, actually. We have negative pressure. Interesting. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's crank the temperature up here again. I wonder if you can break stuff, you know? Like, I wonder if you can blow your boiler up. Not that that's something that I feel like you want to do in real life, but, you know, that's why we have simulators. I think we can probably open it up a bit. There we go. That's so cool. <laughs> I love this so much. And I gotta say, Ange the Great, this is, this is great, and you are great. This is, this is so cool. Oh, so we're, um, we're actually venting some pressure here now. I wonder, I wonder what that means. I wonder if, uh, if I just got a little bit too much heat there going on, bud. I'm gonna lower the fire. And let's, yeah, let's, let's open up the pressure valve here a bit more. The train is moving. Run the engine for 1,000 revolutions is the, uh, achievement that I just got. All right, what if I crank this open fully? Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can break this thing. 650 RPM, 700. Can we get to 700? The pressure is dropping very quickly. Well, God, it, is it stabilized? Interesting. I guess it's slowly dropping, but it looked like it wanted to stabilize. I mean, this, this seems simple enough. I can operate a real-life steam engine.
Just pull the levers, you know, tug on the valves. Life is good. Man, I just know there's some Steam Engine experts in the comments right now absolutely going crazy over, over everything that I'm doing. <laughs> but hey, I'm learning and I'm having fun doing it, okay? <laughs> We're at stable 600 RPM here. That's good. Doesn't seem like that's dropping. It's fluctuating, but it's not dropping. Very good. How's our pressure here? Woo! I love that. The pressure is stabilized as well. Guys, I think I've got, like, perfect operation here. This is amazing. My temperature is stable. My pressure is stable. And my RPMs are stable. None of it has moved. This is so good. I love this. Uh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was an absolute blast to play with this uh, steam engine simulator. Definitely go and check it out yourself. And uh, let me know what you thought in the comments down below. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.